they go down court on the offensive end. High tower, step back jumper, and he buries that. So it took only to get the waiver. So many of the players who transfer and try to get coming back home for grabs. He came out with a lot of publicity and hasn't been able to quite live up to it. Got rattles in and out. That missed by another transfer out of Memphis, Tennessee. 35 games at Kansas as well. That is K.J. Lawson, a graduate transfer. Missed that three-pointer and needing a bounce. The entire administration, the president's office and otherwise at Tulane have gotten behind him. They say, hey, we've got a guy who's done it and he's proven he can do it more than once. There's this matchup defense. I joked with Coach Hunter this afternoon at shoot around. And he just like you said, don't call it his own. Wide open from the perimeter. And that was right on cue. That's a real dude. Wow, that was a long <laughs> range. Nick Thomas hoisted that from a suburb of Houston. You're from this area. Give me a suburb of Houston. <laughs> Maybe it's 10%, 90%. <laughs> it's an interesting matchup. Make no mistake, as you saw both teams. As cold as the Houston weather, it was about 30 degrees here this morning. Kevin Zhang, 6'10", sophomore out of Shenyang, China. Just missed that outside jumper. Nice attack of the basket right to the front of the rim by Quentin Grimes. They already have five. They only average 12 per game on the year. A little bit under, actually. Grimes, wide open look. Better attack of the basket. Tough chance on the finish. And here comes Houston. Hinton with the rebound. He's been pretty, pretty quiet so far. Maybe he hurt us during the timeout. Here comes Hinton once again. Somebody at six foot five in today's game to average nine rebounds. Nice attack of the basket. Up for the NBA draft, if you will, decided to come back out. But Bill Self in Kansas had figured he was gone, so they moved on. Nice pass down inside, the good finish by Fabian White. You have a chance to go back to Kansas. Will you look at his case in the NCAA? Looked at it, they decided they were gonna make him available. Unselfish basketball club as Hightower looks <laughs> to check and see if there's a heat stroke situation, but the unselfishness between the basket and the man, there's just not a lot of opportunity other than to take jump shots. And finally, that one is knocked down. Nice make on the season. And Tulane will take offense anywhere they can get it, trailing now by 16. Well. Boy, the hot hand, Marcus Sasser. The, the glass was broken in the uh, NCAA tournament. Thompson found himself unguarded momentarily in a snooze. Grimes on the tough take, nice rebound in traffic. Noble Days has played well, number four in light blue. Here's K.J. Lawson. Boy, that was a tough finish. There was a lot of contact. White maybe dragging a little bit. A little bit winded. You've got to stop the ball on the defensive line. And I want to go back to a point you made after we were talking about this facility. And that is, we, we mentioned into, challenged at the rim and challenged on the perimeter. Tulane so far only committed four fouls with under 40 seconds remaining. That nicely right down the lane. Transition basket for this Houston ball club. Nice give and go, attack of the rim by the history. I mean, starting all the way back to Katrina to now, I mean, to do that in a matter of months is pretty impressive. The jump shot rattles home and a good offensive start for Lawson. The big comebacks all over college basketball. And remember Houston, recent memory, they led by 15 with 13 minutes to play at Cincinnati the other night. Pull up jump shot by Lawson. Boy, Houston does a good job of staying in front. They make you take tough shots. It doesn't necessarily throw the ball inside. They force the bigs to get it off the rim because they're such a perimeter-oriented ball club. Hickman had a big first half. Chipped in as well, having a nice ball game, number 11 in white. All alone, Houston got lost defensively, and Day is able to slam that one home. Talk about Virginia. They are the defending national champions there after all. There you go. All. <laughs> they're, they're pretty relevant. And look at instant offense right on the floor. Caleb Mills, as you pointed out. Main success is that Hightower hadn't been launching as much. They've been getting better shots. Looks like he's reverted back a little bit with that last one. 
This young man coming off the bench, he certainly has starter level ability. So smooth with his ability to play this game. Mr. Early transferred to Houston, sat out last year, and so he comes in as a red shirt freshman. Keep the dribble. Good call, Lance. Oh, oh, a beautiful pass. All created because he kept the dribble and continued to probe, realizing he had better feet. What a fantastic ball player. Days bottoms out the three. He made, which took it into overtime. I think the way Coach Williams has handled it himself has been pretty impressive given where that program is and what it's done in school. Listed as a number 12 seed. Frank Hayes has just done a great job yes. there, too, getting them back to relevance. Boyd doing a better job getting to the free throw line after only shooting six in their loss to SMU. They've been to the line 12 times. Nice pass by Grimes, and right at the front of the rim. Houston. Mills, and almost looked like he short arm down a little bit. And now Tulane has tricked himself into getting into a, getting into a shooting match with Houston. Tulane has lost five in a row. That's on the way by Lawson, not close. Offensive rebound taken by Hightower, put back up and in. Particularly for Houston, they are second in the nation in rebound margin, fourth in the nation in offensive rebounds. Nice attack that time by Hightower. Huge possession. It's just a psychological thing. You get it within 10, the game looks very different. Look at Hinton. Maybe a four or a five point switch. Like right now, they're in the offense, so you've got a guard. And if you don't, they're going to get a good look. <laughs> what Caleb Mills has been really good at the offensive end. You see him stay in front of Hightower on that possession. Boy, did he move his feet nicely. Here comes Mills again. Road at the Toyota Center. Oh, they yeah. still call it that? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah I, think, I think they do actually. Uh, <laughs> Performance. This team, albeit the youngest that Kelvin Sampson has had since he's been here at Houston, they really are connected. They play very well the ball. Well, that's a, that's a good term, connected. They, they are extremely connected. And they've had guys that maybe have a little more speed to get it to single digits. Grimes turns that over. Walker going the other way. Oh, that was a tough play. Walker got in the air and then gave it up late to Hightower. Away from Tulane with 17, Lawson has 13, Days has 10. Inside, easily done. That's the That's momentum you need as the tournament approaches. McGee going to the rim, lays that up and in. Inside of 30 seconds remaining. And Hinton had another solid rebounding game, 12 rebounds. 12 points for yet another double-double and a solid win for Houston. They improved to 18-5 and 8-2 and in conference in Tulane. Hard to be patient with some work to do. They now have lost six in a row and are 10-12 overall.